Hey guys and welcome back. I'm your host, Tennessee's daughter. If you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you in to my beautiful wildflowers and my new subscribers. Hey! hey! I hope everybody has been doing well for me. I have been so busy living life. It has been evolving and it is ever changing. Okay, we got pieces moving like a chess boy, honey. One coming in, one going out. Woo! And she is in for it all. I got to give y'all this story time today about my experience with this helicopter on Interstate I-40 here in the state of Tennessee. Tennessee. But before we get started, I got a new intro video. Shout out to the girl that created it. I'll tag her in the description bar below. So let's get it. Ooh, let's get it. Ooh, let's get it. years ago and I was coming down 840 which connects from Murfreesboro Tennessee to Franklin Tennessee where I was headed and it can actually loop around to I believe somewhere in Lebanon but anywho aside from that baby look she traveling down 840 now I've been running this whole little route on 840 for nearly three years and none of what I'm about to share with y'all has ever taken place not even anything close to it so I'm just the driving Mind my business and all of a sudden a helicopter comes out of nowhere completely nowhere it comes over the highway and this thing is dangling over my car whoever is flying this helicopter had to been either in training drunk hound some i don't really know what was going on all i know is i felt like my life was over it was the end Capiche, okay? I'm sitting there, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. And and I mean, like, I can see the numbers on the side of this helicopter. I mean, it was huge. It was white and had red and blue and all these different, you know, inscriptions on there or, or whatever. And when I tell y'all, I just knew it was over for me. And it was a moment where it got up high enough because, I mean, it was literally at my windshield. And, and it was just, you know... <laughs> There was a moment where it went up and I just hit the gas on my car and got on down the highway. I'm looking, trying to figure out what just happened. I'm trying to process all this right. Now, there are sprinkles of cars on the highway, but it was midday. And, and so it wasn't a whole lot of traffic or whatever. It was between, I would say, 11.15 and 11.25, 11.30, somewhere around there. And so it wasn't a whole lot of cars on, on 8, 840 or whatever. But so I get on down the highway and now I'm processing what took place. And I'm like, did this really just happen to me? Oh my God, did this happen? So I'm, now I'm trying to go in my memory bank and see what car was around me. I remember this gray Honda Accord. It was a dated Honda Accord, but I remember that car in my peripheral. Um, and I was like, I, I can't be tripping. I can't be tripping. But I, I no longer saw that car now after this all took place, right? So I'm just trying to think like, what in the heck is going on? Now I'm thinking because four years ago, I was really diving into spirituality. Like I was really diving into it and I was accepting certain things that has taken place in my life that let me know that, you know, I was open to um, of seeing and hearing certain things that I have been gifted, you know, to be able to see and hear. And so I'm sitting there thinking to myself like, what in the world is going on? I'm hoping I'm not losing my mind. There are mental health issues that riddle my family. And I'm like, I know this ain't one. This is the start of it, okay? I ain't trying to trigger none of that. You know, I told y'all about epigenetics in the live that I did. Not forget to check out my last live that I did. If you guys want to be tapped into what's going on because my journey is... You know, it's going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on doing my videos as long as I got in this body, baby. But anywho, so going back to what I'm talking about, I'm trying to process all this and I'm scared. I mean, I'm terrified. And I immediately try to call my mom. My mom didn't answer the phone. So the next person was my niece because I knew my niece was probably at my house. And I was like, okay, let me call her. So I call her on the FaceTime because my mom was still had Android, by the way. So I call my niece on the FaceTime. I'm boo who crying I'm, I'm sure i scared her but honey look it was coming out the way it was happening i'm boohoo crying i'm like mia oh my god you ain't gonna believe what just happened to me and I, I run everything to her and she was like what you know and she's hysterical now and now she's explaining everything to my mama and you know i can't remember everything in detail what took place in that moment but i know i made a few text messages and everything for the people who didn't answer 
telling them I love them, giving them a brief description of what just took place because now I'm thinking I'm about to perish, okay? I don't know what's going on. Baby, all I'm saying is it wasn't until about three days later when I got confirmation that what happened to me really happened. I go into one of my bank stops that I used to uh, make and the teller, I'm telling him, I'm like, man, you're not going to believe this, you know, and I, he and I used to communicate you know, a lot more than all the other workers in the bank. And so I'm telling him, I said, you ain't going to believe what happened to me the other day on 840. So I'm telling him and his mouth dropped open. He said, no, you're not going to believe this. He said, my homeboy was on the interstate when that happened. I said, what? He was like, yeah, my homeboy was on the interstate. He said the same thing. He said it was like a part from Call of Duty, the game he be playing at the house. Okay. He said, just so happened that very day he met up with me and a few other of our homeboys and we went and had beers and everything at a bar and he started telling us everything that happened he said it was like a, a scene from call of duty and and yada yada right and i'm thinking to myself like thank god i wanted to just really drop down on the ground and just you know just show gratitude for not being crazy in that moment because i'm still looking for confirmation even though i know I think I know that this really happened, you know, but for him to tell me that his homeboy was next to me, you know, that felt so good. And, and, and it reminded me, no, I have not lost my marbles, girl. <laughs> I ain't lying. When y'all got mental health issues in the family, I'm telling you, I ain't even doing no shrooms because I'm scared I might not come back from one of them trips. Okay. People be taken out here. I am not even a little bit excited about doing it. She ain't touching it. Okay. I barely drank alcohol. But uh, anywho, so when I tell y'all that that confirmation for me just put me in a better space and I knew I was not having some old lucid moment because I started thinking as the days was going on because like I said, it took a few days for me to have that conversation with that man at the bank. And so over, the, you know, I think it happened over the weekend. It was running into the weekend or something. And so those next few days was challenging for me because now I'm thinking to myself like, I mean, did I go through some um, portal I ain't supposed to be traveling through? Like, this is what I'm thinking. I ain't no kid, y'all. I'm just going to get it to y'all straight up, okay? And I'm like, I mean, is this something that I imagine, you know? So when things like that happen, you do what you do question whether or not you was sane in that moment, you know, to experience that. And so starting that year, because it was like two weeks before my birthday when I had that experience with the helicopter. So starting that very year is when I started taking my life way more serious and I started celebrating my birthdays, whether anybody was available to participate or not. Because for the most part, I have spent a majority, a good majority of my birthdays by myself or, you know, um, getting a couple people when I was going to the club to go meet me at the club or whatever. Um, and I did not look at my life the way that I look at it now until that moment happened and I needed that experience because I was so close to not being here like I was so close like this man or female whoever was flying a helicopter could have very well landed on my car and to know that it took that to jump start why I'm at now says a lot because that following year, 2020, everything changed. And that's when I started my YouTube channel because I used to have these anxieties even by coming on camera because I don't like to engage with the negative people that they find their way to your channel sometimes. And although there are beautiful people out there, and shout out to my guy subscribers. Okay, y'all be keeping your girl inspired over here. Okay, I bought this red lip for y'all. You know, the flirty ones out there. I hope y'all single. You know, I don't have no problems with y'all old lady, nothing like that. But anywho, I hope y'all enjoyed my story time because, baby, look, that was a jump start. Sometimes some of us need things like that to trigger us in the right direction to get us to pay more attention to the life that we have flowing through these bodies, child. Okay, because ever since then, I have been celebrating my birthday and that was the start of it and that was the reason I know my family may not know that bit of depth of behind why I started having my own celebrations and everything but that was the start of it four years ago uh nearly four years ago so come this August it'll be four years ago since I had that experience and when I tell y'all that I needed that moment I'm really saying it because it's really true. I really needed that moment. I ain't taking nothing for granted. I'm taking advantage of every opportunity and I am loving dating, okay? All of this good stuff, okay? So for anybody come across this video that may have dated me, now y'all know why it is that I live the way I live and I ain't wasting my time on y'all if y'all ain't ready to do what y'all need to do for y'all so y'all can do it for me.
<laughs> and everybody else that you come in contact with, they got a whole lot to do with it. Okay, play a partner. 40 water water. Okay. But until my next video, I hope y'all enjoyed my story time. Do not be afraid to get out here and live a little bit before we leave because we are going to leave. And that helicopter could have very well took me out. Until the next video, remember that you guys, if you do not feel loved in a way, you are loved here. You are thought of and you are cared for. And I'll see you guys then. Mwah.